good morning or good afternoon or good evening from any part of the world. Uh, my name is Tony HP. I woke up to a new edition of My Lives with Auspiders, part number five, with part numero cinco. Uh, it's great to have you all here, and thank you so much for, uh, for watching. I left it off in the, in the year 2012, this new video, which I'm going to talk about. But before I proceed, I want to clear up a couple of things that happened in my previous years before I proceed in any further. You know, I was talking more about what was happening in my life in general, but then talk a little bit more detail about my condition. So overall, I was having difficulties, uh, social difficulties in building friendships and relationships with other people, connecting more with other people. But despite that, I was able to make several improvements throughout these years. One is I was able to talk more clearly and more effective than previously. Um, previously, I was unable to talk clearly and communicate clearly. But I was able to make some improvement in that area. And I was able to talk some you know, better connections with people. And another thing that I was able to improve is be able to communicate understanding people better you know before i didn't understand what's going on but now i was able to understand more clearly in terms of what other people did and what they say and was able to understand it more better but despite those improvements i still have those challenges that i don't understand people that you know too well or understand them or being clear with them or communicate with them effectively as i wish i can do but despite my limitations and not being in the special education program, I was, you know, I received some help from my disability department at college, but it was only for tests and didn't help me out that much. So to be out there in the world with this disability, I was able to help my own as I could. There were times I wish I was trying to want, I wanted to get, end it all, including myself. I was to that point many times, I wrote letters. Many times doing that thing which I wanted to be done with it, but nobody liked me, nobody wanted to be with me. I was going through those, you know, tough times in the in the household. And overall I wanted to end it. But overall, I was able to now head here to twenty twelve. And here I am gaining work experience and be able to move ahead with my life. And I have challenges. I went mentioned I went to the conspiracy theories arena, and I left the person in the bottom. And I was so depressed with what was going on that there were so many things going on in the news, in the world, in the country, politics, economy. So many issues. I got conscious about it, and I was so I got conscious as to why I want to become rich with all these things going on. And I got to the point I wouldn't, didn't want to be successful anymore. I wanted to just, I was depressed. It was like, okay, what's the point of, of being rich if things, these things are happening or going to happen? And I was so very depressed that I had more and more to the conspiracy theories, more reading the conspiracy websites, world government, new world order, all that kind of stuff. And I was through that disease for many years. Thinking that the world and the world is gonna come to an end, and, and that that was between 2012 to 2016. To recently, I was into that, and I got to that point. I was so depressed. Um, I was talking about the war was gonna come in, even even sickness, even wishing a war to all of this to end. I was very very being evil person myself. But not because I, well, on purpose, I was so depressed that I was having those negative thoughts overtake me, thinking that I was going to move ahead. But reality, that was the year. That was truly the year that I realized that I cannot blame anybody anymore. It was by myself that I was bringing this myself. But at the same time, I'm blaming God. I was even blaming God for all this mess. Why this? Why this happened? I'm trying to be a good guy. Be able to get ahead and what was this happening it was pretty bad and so 2012 you know i'm trying to work you know dealing with depression but also working in retail you know this is a job that's not supposed to be for people on the spectrum but i have no choice i was having difficulties finding employment in areas that i want to do i didn't want to do, didn't know exactly what i wanted to do but 
I understood that there's jobs in which I'm not supposed to be doing because I'm on disability. So retail, I have trouble, you know, for a long time, be able to communicate better with people. And I to just be honest, I don't know how I was able to survive those years of customer service when I was working in retail. But I was able to learn more about dealing with people. Even though it was negative in the beginning, well, the good thing about those jobs in retail was I was able to communicate more with people, more effectively, more efficiently, be in fast-paced, multitasking environment, high-pressure environment. There were many things I was able to learn that I thought that I knew were going to help me for potential business and investment work. So I was getting work, work experience. I was able to get my first car, uh, you know, standard. I was able to drive. I was able to do things that other adults in my spectrum not have are not able to do. And I was able to do those. So those were those were back then didn't talk about accomplishments, but now looking at those the were key accomplishments. So I was able to do those things. I was able to work, I was working at Home Depot for a year. And then I was so depressed because I you know I didn't understand there were things I was struggling with my disability. You know, when I, I'm now understanding what well, people were treating me badly or were stabbing in the back. I had trouble defending myself, which stems all the way back from the beginning when I was, you know, in the first videos. So I worked there for a year. I was tired. I wanted to get something else. I wanted to get something that was not cashier. You know, I didn't have too consistent contact with people. So I went to work in, you know, you know hospitality industry as a housekeeper for a couple of months, and that was not for me. I was very depressed, working full time, uh, cleaning stuff. Everybody's, you know, taking out the trash. Everybody, you know, clean it up. In the hotel, you know, the hospitality industry, and that was, that lasted for a couple of months. It was during the summer twenty thirteen that I was in the lowest point of my life. I was having, you know, challenges in, you know, with my mom, you know, mom and younger brother, and everybody going through a tough time, bothering me. I was not able to. It was training my, you know, we were going through a lot of problems and I was not living it that well. Um, you know, I was failing my mom, failing my brother. My brother was not doing, you know, there's so many things going on. And I was at the lowest point in my life that that's when I really thought that I got something to kill myself and I almost did in 2013. I was so very low, I was being a burden to everybody, I'd be failing so much that I don't know how I'm, how I'm alive now. I think that God saved me from destroying lives. I thought that I was I was going to destroy people, I was going to destroy my mom's, my brother's life, everybody. Thinking that nobody cared, nobody liked me, and I was a burden to everybody. I was a cancer myself, I even said I was a cancer myself. That was so bad. It was that then, it was during that summer 2013, it was the lowest point of my life, and it still is to this day, alongside my years of Puerto Rico, which were even lower points. So now, after those challenges, I was able, I was tired of working in the hospitality industry. And it was then that I would decided to go back to school in August 2013. To get out of working on hospitality, working on retail, I decided to go back to school in August of 2013. I was still not clear in terms of what I was in, what I was going to do in terms of what I was going to do with uh but you know college because when I was in college the first time I started in land survey and and then changed it to psychology and then one of the reasons that I didn't mention I don't know if I mentioned in the last video that I left college the first time was because I didn't waste, I didn't want to waste any more time, any more money. I didn't have much money left. I was on the federal uh, Pell Grants, federal aid. 
even though the college tuition in Puerto Rico was pretty good, I was in the state system. Here I didn't have much time, so I went back not knowing what I was going, what I was doing. But I knew I was I needed to finish a bachelor's degree, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna go business. Okay, I'm gonna finish my bachelor's degree in business because I want to start my business and do my investments, and this will help me out with get the tools and strategies necessary to be successful in business. So I went back to school. I was in school, not working, and I felt better for some reason. I felt like being back in my environment, thinking that I think it was the right time. People told me when I left school that I was going to drop out. They called me a loser. Uh, family members, people that were so-called friends told me that I was not going to come back to school. And when I come back, I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back. I, need, I have unfin I cannot. One thing I don't like is leaving things unfinished. And I went back to school to prove them wrong. And I did. And I was able to get excellent grades. I was able to adjust very well. And I was able to get my AA degree in 2014 in business, and which helped me go to the bachelor's degree program within the same school. And I took loans because here it's more expensive to study. I was not, I had one of the goals in my goal list that I did back in 2014, 2010, not to take loans, but I was able to take loans, I have no choice. So I finished my AA degree in 2014, and 2014 was you know, the first step towards really accomplishing my goals. It was at 2014 that I decided to become a volunteer with the Autism Society of Orlando. So, because I always wanted, you know, I have this disability, but I wanted to do something. That's what I really thought about doing something. And I became a volunteer with them. I participated in the walk and I worked there. And I started my relationship with them. Where it could be making a difference in community, community life. And, you know, the next time I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about that and much more. I continue my college career and go back to work. I was able to go back to work later on. And I'm going to talk about what I was able to overcome those challenges. So until then, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel 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 free to comment right about right down below. And until then, this is Tony Spee signing out. Bye. -bye.